what's up, you guys? It's me, Gabriel Iglesias, and I'm joined by the very lovely, the very talented, Bricia Lopez, uh, co-owner of Ilagueta Restaurant here in Los Angeles, California, or Koreatown. 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 Because K -Town. she's very specific. Yeah, don't K say K. Stop throwing signs, girl. So we're gonna be making mole chilaquiles. I'm very excited for you to try these. First, we're gonna get a pot. All right. And we're gonna get some tomatoes. Then you let them boil. This is about like a pound of tomatoes that we've blended. Mole can take hours, even days to make if you're making it from scratch. Today we're gonna be making it with our mole paste. Do you wanna open using, this for yes, me? Yes, I will. I will open this for you. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna happen. I do this. It's easy, look. No. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the mole paste into the tomato sauce. So we're gonna like just stir, stir, stir until it's fully dissolved. You gotta like really. I gotta really. You gotta go to town with it. Pretend like you hate it. You're just like. Argh. All right. You, you need to like really. Yeah, girl. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My mom right here. Dale, échale con ganas, güey. So once it's bubbling, that's when we add the chicken broth. All right. So how much chicken broth are you gonna pour in there? I'm gonna add about a cup. All right. And then to kind of balance it out with a little bit of uh, sweetness. Okay. This is Oaxacan chocolate. Then we're gonna start frying our tortillas. Okay. We're gonna cook the chorizo right now. Okay. And I don't like to put extra oil in the chorizo because it's got its own fat. Now how much chorizo are you putting in this pan? I wanna say half a cup. I'm gonna have the mole and the chorizo cook together a little bit. Okay. I like my chorizo to be really crispy. So you like it a little bit burnt? A little That's bit. That's basically what you're doing. A little if burnt. You're crispy, FYI people, if your chorizo is crispy, that means it's burnt. <laughs> then we're gonna add tortillas. You could smell this already. I mean, there's a little bit to it that kind of makes, yep. chokes you a little. It's the chile. <coughs> Burnt chile. <laughs> so I am gonna grab a plate for you. Okay. Now sprinkle with cheese. That looks so good. And then we're gonna add a little bit of onion. I always like to add a little bit of parsley on top. One of the things that I really like to add for a crunch at the end, sometimes we can just add a little bit of chapulines. And it's really, really good. Um, Lisa, did They're you so just delicious. did you just put uh, crickets so on, on the plate? Yeah. Uh, you know, Bricia, um... But they're so good, look, and look, it jumped off. Uh, yeah, no, no, I don't no, think this one's no, dead this, this party just jumped off. Wait, wait, okay, you know. <laughs> this one just jumped, sorry. If you want a little extra crunch in your life, uh, come on down, visit okay. Bricia. Okay. Here, kill it, get some! Oh my gosh, she's touching my face with a cricket! Okay. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh my god! You're from Oaxaca now, officially Oaxacan. Oh, okay. Wow. 